What's up, Internet? We've been tracking the prices of CPUs and GPUs for the past seven weeks from the four biggest PC stores in the country. Kaya masasabi natin with real data kung panahon na ba bumili ng CPU or ng GPU. So this is our second video na ganito, but it works the same way as the first video. Yung Google Sheet with all of the data which you can access, nandun yung link sa text description. The first tab, very detailed. Nandun lahat ng prices, nandun lahat ng products, and yung weekly tallies talaga natin. Yung second tab, mas maganda to see the progression of prices, kung umakyat or bumabagsak ba talaga sila. Kung baga, yan na yung summary of data. But you can switch anytime between those two tabs kung ano yung mas useful sa'yo. Just some notes based on feedback from the past video and how to read the data. First of all, yung colors. Ginawa ko na yung mga kulay, so it's easier to see the ups and downs sa prices. Yung blue color, ibig sabihin may positive change in price or bumaba yung price. Tapos yung red, baliktad naman if there was a negative change in the price. Makikita mo to lahat sa first tab because that's where you can really see the individual prices per week. Another big change is that we've added AMD GPUs. Nung unang video, di ko sila nilagay. Because to be honest, everybody says that they want better competition, but everybody still buys NVIDIA. Especially sa atin. Sobrang brand conscious natin. Palaging NVIDIA hinahanap ng mga customer. So, di ko linagay si AMD nung sa video 1. But since marami nagreklamo, and nagsabi na, oh, malamang ayas to in favor of NVIDIA, which... There's nothing further from the truth. Dito's hardware sugar, we don't care kung team red ka, team green, team blue, team orange, team black. We'll sell you whatever you want to buy. So wala kaming favorites dito and bowing to popular opinion, I've added some AMD cards. And lastly, you'll notice they track natin yung prices ng apat sa pinakamalaking PC stores in the country, but you won't see their names because only one shop gets free publicity on this channel and that's Hardware Sugar. So, tinago natin yung mga pangalan ng mga shops na to under aliases from science fiction, different pilots from science fiction. So, you have Wedge from Rogue Squadron, you have Roy Foker from Robotech, Joker from Mass Effect, and Wash from Firefly. Pero yung pinakamahalaga, consistent yung mga names na yun. Kung sino man yung shop na yan nung week 1, si Wedge, siya pa rin yung shop sa week 7. And that's true for all of the names. So, you can really compare the data and see that, oh, umakyat, moba, and we can see the difference over time. Before we get to GPU and CPU prices, you don't need to worry about tracking the price of Windows 10 anymore kasi yung presyo ng sponsor natin, sobrang okay at legit pa sila. Bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit Windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, halito. Buti na lang. CDKeyOffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Gamitin lang aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out CDKeyOffers.com we're going to start first with taking a look at the most recent data, November 30. Tapos ikukumpara dun sa last week, November 23. And one thing you might want to take note of is na sobrang mura nitong isang 16.50. So the shop is Wash. And the previous price, yung pinakamura niyang 16.50 dati was 13,325. Pero yung pinaka latest week, based November 30, 9,350 na lang siya. Sobrang mura. Siya yung pinakamura dun sa apat na shops na, na survey natin. So if you're looking for a 1650, this is a very good price. Zotac yung GPU. And actually, yun yung takeaway natin for this week. Itong particular shop, para nag Black Friday sale. Or this is the week kasi na makita mo yung data from yung Black Friday. Ito yung week kasi na nagko-coincide dun sa Black Friday sales estates. Usually, local shops don't follow that schedule or wala masyadong discounts for Black Friday. But this one particular store, sobrang mura nung 16.50. And if we scroll down to their CPUs, makita mo rin na may price, may price drops din. Yung 13600K, 1000 peso difference, 1000 peso difference rin sa 12500. 7600X, 7600X, mga 1,000 plus pesos din yung difference. Same with the 7950X. 
So across the board, itong particular shop na to, talagang bumaba at least for this week. When you're watching this, I don't know kung the prices are still the same, pero you might want to check this out if you're looking for that particular GPU or new CPUs. For the other shops, there have been some price changes. So, ito si Wedge, yung pinakamura niyang 4090-115600, bumagsak na itong 109. So, that's around the 6,000 peso difference. Malaki din. Although, nagbago rin yung brand from Gigabyte naging Zotac. Si Roy, mahina rin talaga to si Roy eh. Uh, bihira na may high-end card siya. Although, the cards it does have, the 3050, bumaba. The 3060, bumaba din. Not by a lot for the 3060. And the 1650 does look a bit overpriced considering that from Wash you can get it for 9,350. Sobrang mura nung kay Wash. Joker has a good range of GPUs, pero may actually may price increases. The 3080, which is kind of hard to find now. Napansin ko medyo mahirap na ng 3080. And may price increase din sa 3050. You notice kay Joker, ang mahal nung 3080. Tumaas pa siya. Last week, is at, it was at 61,400. Ngayon, 64,550 na siya. And this is compared to Wedge, na may 3080 at only 49,000. Which is, you know, more than at 15,000 peso difference or so. And this is true for most of the data. May variance talaga between the different shops. Moving on to AMD GPUs, not much change. Except perhaps in availability. Ito si Roy, may 6500 XT dati, ngayon wala na. In fact, Roy doesn't have any of the two models that we track. Prices for Wedge are still the same. In fact, ito si Wedge di nagbago since we've started tracking the AMD GPUs. Si Wash, wala ring 6500 XT, although they do have a 6700 XT, which is cheaper than what Wedge has na Gigabyte. And since it's ASUS, this is a pretty good price. ASUS 6700 XT for 23995 Cheaper pa na the Gigabyte 6700 XT, which usually retails for cheaper. Usually, mas mahal si ASUS. CPUs, um, price increase a little bit. Only for Wedge. For Joker and Wash, yun nga, bumaba siya. So, key takeaway for this week is try to find out who Wash is if you're looking for a 1650 or for newer CPUs. Their price drops have been pretty good. Parang nag-align sila konti dun sa Black Friday sales. Now let's move on to the weekly summary. So that's the second tab here. And dito, naka... This is the first episode where we have this particular tab. Ginawa ko na siya para mas madaling makita at a glance yung ups and downs ng prices. This is based on the average of all four stores. So, let's start with the 1650. When we first started, week 1, mga 11,600 siya. Ngayon, 11,050 na lang siya. So, definitely a price drop. Not, ba not bad too. Around 550 pesos or so. Although, yung pinakamura niya was week 2 at 10,900. And week 4 actually was around 11,000. 3050, we started at 18,500. Now, we're at 18,146. So prices remain steady, although week 4 looks like it had the best price, 17,800. 3060, around the 600 peso, 500 peso difference, so week 5 was the best at 22,500. So almost a 1,000 peso difference in the average between week 5 and week 1. So Metro Tomas actually from its lowest point. 3080, again, we mentioned it's kind of getting hard to find 3080s. Average price niya is 57,000. Although, if you go back nga to the first tab, makita mo na may 3080 for sale yung Zotac at 49,720. 4080, only two weeks worth of data. Slightly increased price, about 800 pesos or so. 4090, Six weeks of data. And the price trend has been to go down from the initial sale price. So, medyo 117K siya sa simula. Ngayon, it's mga around 114K. Doon siya naglalaro. AMD GPUs brought in by popular demand. Really no change, like rock solid. 
6500 XT at this price. Mua basha konte week 6, then back up to the average now. 6700 XT has actually seen a price difference, price decrease at around 28,000 now. On to CPU, 7950X, really no change. The 7600X actually has gone down in price. There have been rumors to this effect na AMD has been slowly discounting the new 7000 series in preparation for Christmas. Initially, they didn't want to because they wanted to buy the out of stock na yung 5000 series. But a lot of people were complaining about the prices of the 7000 series. So we have been seeing different countries reporting na bumababa na yung prices nila. And we've seen that also in our own data dito sa atin. 5600X has gone down very slightly. Although it is much cheaper now, about more than a thousand pesos cheaper than when we started tracking it. So definitely, pababa yung trend niya. 5600G also pababa yung trend, going down. And the venerable Ryzen 5 3600 actually has remained steady. <laughs> The price has uh, remained steady. Siguro din na siya bababa from this point, around 8,500 or so. Intel CPUs, yung medyo high-end nila, no change or if ever may slight increase pa nga. 13,600K, slight decrease but just very slight. So the Intel CPUs, less of a price up and down compared to AMD. Yung AMD medyo pababa talaga siya. Yung Intel, because they were already well-priced before, we don't see a lot of price differences over these weeks. The 12500, which is still a very capable previous gen CPU, actually has gone up. When we first started looking at the prices, mga 14,100 siya. Ngayon mga 14,900. So actually umahakit siya. It's interesting to see the trend dito sa CPUs. Yung AMD na medyo highly priced, pababa siya. Yung Intel, which was already well priced before, steady lang yung prices niya. I do admit to a certain bias for AMD CPUs because I like cheering for the underdog. Although it seems na nag reverse na yung situation. Yung Intel, yung trying harder, providing better value for money. And you can see that in the prices of the CPUs. Either steady lang siya, or even umakit pang asha konte. Finally, these last color coded cells just indicates what episodes covered which week. So episode 1 from week 1 to week 3. And then itong episode 2, which is the episode you're watching now, from week 1 up to week 7. So ito yung mga current trends for prices for CPUs and GPUs sa atin. Is it a good time to buy? Depends on what model you're looking for. Although generally, may weakening talaga sa prices ng GPU market. Kung tutuloy ba yun, I can't say. We'll have to look at future data. Sa CPUs, actually, pababa rin yung prices. So it is starting to look like a good Christmas. Especially kung nag-ipon ka, di ka kumain, binigay mo na kidney mo, may war chest ka na pambili nung hardware. Especially for primary items like a CPU or a GPU, it's looking to be a well-priced Christmas. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.